Hi, John Twist again, University Motors. This is the car that we had the bad compression on, that we put the air pressure into the cylinder to find out that the number three cylinder was bad. And the question was, was it the inlet valve, the exhaust valve, or the rings? I poured some gasoline into a pop bottle, never a good idea. And we're going to put just a little bit of gasoline in each cylinder here. I don't know, if it's pretty dark back in here. And in so doing, we'll come back to this in about five minutes and see if any of those are, are, are empty. Hey, there, there comes our light right there. Casey's illuminating this. So we're, we'll just we'll come back after five minutes and we'll see if any of those are empty. In the meantime, Danny is going to... Well, first of all, I want to show you this bad valve. See how, how this valve is, is sitting so deeply in its seat here? The seat is all the way gone versus this other valve. This is the number three exhaust. This is the number two exhaust. So Danny's going to move back just a little bit. We're going to pour gasoline in each of these. Remember, gasoline is a real dangerous kind of thing to be fiddling with. You should be using kerosene or some, some other, other kind of fluid. And we're going to let this sit, and we're going to come back to it in 10 minutes, and we're going to see which of these has collapsed or which of these has run out. I mean, it gets real busy here in the shop, and my gosh, it's probably 15 minutes later now. Of course, you don't know that. We could be making it all up. Here, we take a look here, and we'll see that we've got the same, approximately the same amount of fluid in each one of these cylinders. Oh, by the way, my wife was very, very emphatic. She said, don't tell anyone to use gasoline, because gasoline is so dangerous. So I didn't tell you to use gasoline. I told you to use kerosene for fuel oil. All right, now let, let's take a look at these guys. Oh boy, you can see that the level here is down, which means that both these, the, the valves in both these cylinders are leaking. These are down a little bit too, number one and number four, but not so much. And of course, you know, here we got all this stuff cut, coming out, out of these. Uh, this one isn't quite so bad. This is absolutely dry, it's powder dry. That's powder dry, the ends. But these guys here, the uh, the inlet valves, isn't that odd? Are uh, are leaking, and these these exhaust valves are real horrible here in the beginning. So the point of this whole thing was to, was to find out why the compression was faulty, right? And see either the intake valve, the exhaust valve, the piston rings, or the um, uh, the head gasket. It's never the head gasket. Well, there's exceptions. All my rules. It was a head gasket on my car about two months ago, but boy, that's the first one we've seen in a couple of years. It's always the exhaust valve, and on number three, it's always the exhaust valve. With exceptions. So we're going to send this guy out and have him redone, and maybe when he comes back, we'll show you what a, a real nice cylinder head looks like. Our customers decided to have this ported and polished. Five more horsepower, you know, five horsepower on an additional... Oh, and maybe, maybe he's getting 55, 60 horsepower out of this now, maybe, maybe. Um, and so five horsepower is about 10%. So that's quite a lot. Anyway, thanks. Catch you guys later.